how do you measure your own success and what does success mean to you? This is what we are going to be talking about in this video and we are really going to go in depth so that at the end of the video you have created your own definition of success and that you are able to measure and see for yourself how successful you really are. So if this resonates with you, then stick around because without further ado, we are going to get right into the video. First of all, I want to say that our society has some definitions of successes. For example, society could be measuring success via money. How much money do you make, what your income is, or about titles and degrees. For example, being a professor, doctor, or I don't necessarily mean doctor in medicine, but also like doctor in law or anything else really or if you have a PhD or some title, an academic title, that could be a measurement for success. Another measurement for success could be family. How many children do you have? Are you married? Are you having a successful relationship life? That could also be a kind of measurement for success. Or it could also be where do you live? In which kind of quarter do you live? or if you have a house or a flat or what car you have could also be a measurement of success for some. It depends. Everyone has kind of different perceptions of what success really means. This is what we're going to talk about today as well. I believe that it is not really good to completely ignore the success measurements that we are being given by the society, if we can call it like this. I mean, financial situation is measurement of success that we can ignore but i don't know if we should ignore it because let's be real we need money we need money to sustain our living we need enough money to get food on our plates to have a roof over our heads and to sustain our lives so money is for sure one way or another a measurement for our success because we're working to earn money most of the time I believe that there are different ways to measure success. I think that on top of the measurements of success that society gives us, we can create our own. And this is what I want to elaborate with you today. Before we get into that, please let me know in the comments, what is your measurement for your personal success? What does success mean to you? What does need to happen in your life? Or what do you need to manifest in order to be able to say, yeah, I am successful. Is it a house? Is it a car? Is it a family? Is it money? Is it happiness? Is it laughter? Is it partner? Let me know. I would love to know what your definition of success is and how you are measuring success in your life currently. I thought the best way to show you guys that we all have a little bit of different understanding of what success is was to go on Instagram and directly ask you what success means to you. And so I did and you sent me so many different and wonderful answers that I would like to share with you right now. The first answer that I got was that success means to achieve a state where you don't have any greed or wealth or materialistic things and are able to live. Success means freedom or doing what you love in every day, giving in your best effort, growth and continue being a better version of yourself. Living life in accordance with my true self and making progress towards my goals. Enjoying the process. Overcoming or learning how to cope with your worst fears. Learning how to enjoy life. So I think that this shows really well that we all have a little bit of different definition and view of what success is and what it feels like. And so I think that it is important to define this term that is used in such a generic way as if it was supposed to mean only one thing whereas it doesn't it means different things to any of us and meanwhile we have a general view of what success could be for example wealth or um, 
professional success or personal success with relationships and things like that. I think it is also important to create your own definition and know what success means to you. So now let's elaborate a bit about what could be alternative ways of measuring success. So whenever you're doing something and you are not quite sure whether it was a successful thing that you did or not, here are a few questions that you can ask yourself. How did this thing make you feel, even if it's not a measurable success yet? Let's take again the example of a YouTube video. You're making a YouTube video, you don't have many subscribers and you are wondering... We were talking about the example of the YouTube video. You made a YouTube video, you don't have many subscribers and you're trying to figure out whether your YouTube video was a success or not. You have the one option to measure it, for example, by counting the number of likes and views and watch time. And this is going to give you an idea whether the video was successful objectively or not. Now, if you were to want to measure the success on a personal level, what you could do is, for example, ask yourself how creating this video made you feel or what you have learned in the process of creating this video. Have you done research to uh, research the content of the video? Have you learned new skills, for example, filming skills, editing skills? Have you learned to speak more eloquently? Have you worked on your camera presence or on your self-confidence? These are also ways to measure success from a YouTube video, for example, because it helps you to see how you have evolved, how your personal skills have evolved and maybe even successfully manifested into a YouTube video, even if it doesn't have the number of likes or the number of subscribers, the certain watch time that a video would have to have in order to be considered as a successful video. This is a perfect example, I think, because we have this typical measurement of content with likes and shares and saves and things like this also on Instagram. And we have the personal value of this piece of content where we are gaining insight and where we are evolving just by creating it really. This would be a way to measure your own success. The next way that you could measure your own success with is how whatever you're doing is impacting your life. I mean with that, how how much passion does it bring into your life? Does it get you out of bed in the morning? Are you feeling motivated? Are you feeling empowered? Are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling that you really are doing something for yourself? These kind of feelings and impacts on your life, these could be signs that what you're doing is actually a personal success. If something brings you a fire or motivation or only the state of flow where you forget time and you just dive deep into it and really focus and are completely emerged into something that you're doing that is a sign of personal success these are also forms of successes that you need to take into consideration whenever you are deciding whether something that you're doing is successful or is not successful and I believe that figuring out what success means to you is the very, very first step in this entire process of creating your own definition of success. So I invite you to take a piece of paper or your journal and write down what is your absolute marker for success. What does your life look like when you are successful? Let's imagine your future life. How will you know that you are successful? And once you have elaborated that, ask yourself, what feelings do you have when you are successful? Do you feel proud? Do you feel happy? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel love? Do you feel fulfillment? Whenever you are doing something and you recognize these feelings, for example, you're doing something and you feel proud of yourself, 
proud of yourself for overcoming a difficulty, proud of yourself for overcoming an obstacle, proud of yourself for reaching a goal that you have been working so hard on. This is the marker that you are progressing towards your own success. All right, guys, I hope that you have gained insight from this video, that you have a clear image of what success means to you. And I can't wait to read all your comments about this topic because I find it really fascinating how many different views of success exist. And I'm sending you so much love. Stay awesome and see you next week.